So in case you guys haven't heard, we are moving and we're pretty excited about it. But first, um, we've loved this apartment and we've been here for three years. And so I wanted to take you around and show you everything before we leave it forever. <music> kitchen. Um, it's a little galley kitchen. Um, I'll show you the things that we loved about it and the things that we haven't loved so much. Um, first of all, it doesn't have a ton of counter space, so that's been interesting. When I'm preparing a meal, I pretty much have this and this to work on, um, and then this is usually what we use for serving, but um, we, yeah, we don't have a ton of space, but it's still been nice. It's gotten the job done. Um, I did, I've had so many people ask me if we installed the backsplash ourselves. No, we didn't. It came with the apartment. I just tried to make it feel, I guess, a little bit homier, but I'm looking forward to having a little bit more kitchen counter space and, um, being able to do a little bit more with it. Thankfully, we do have some wood floors in here, which has been nice. And I've gotten to like put out a rug, but the crazy thing about this kitchen is there's no pantry. You heard me. It's been wild, especially when we do so much cooking at home. So I'm going to show you a very scary sight. And that is this closet. That is our laundry room and our pantry and everything else. <laughs> so there is not a lot of room for all of our activities. It's pretty crazy. Plus we're in the middle of moving, so there's even more stuff in it. The one thing I loved is this sink. This farmhouse sink I'm taking with me everywhere I live in the future. All right, let me show you the guest bath. So this is the one that you've seen on Instagram. I don't post the other one because this is the vacation tub. Come see. <laughs> so this is the bathtub you've probably seen on Instagram. We kind of use it when we don't have to take a real bath, you know? If you just want to hang out, just chill, that's the bathtub to do it. Sometimes I just fill it up and take pictures of it, and I don't actually take a bath with it. It's cold water. In all those photos you see, it's cold water. Sorry to ruin. Scam for the gram, you know? We also have a linen closet, which is where I've kept tablecloths, candles, extra pillows for when people stay the night, and all that good stuff. And again, it's a little, little closet. Okay, our little happy space out here is our living room. Um, we have not had room for a kitchen table or a dining room table, I guess. Um, and so we've been living it up on these bar stools over here, slash just being on the couch and floor forever. So we're really excited to be able to have a dining room table and to sit down, you know, at a real place when we eat which is gonna be a nice change. But it served us well, let me, let me say that. Um, so over here, we have a little gallery wall with pictures of art, um, different, I guess I would say, I, I decorate with a lot of different world art, which is kind of fun, because we do like traveling a whole lot and we do love the world. So that's kind of what I have uh, decorated with for now. I guess our color theme in here um, I started with blue because when we first got married, I didn't want to go crazy and make this like a super girly space since I was living with a guy, but um, kind of warmed up and added some pink pillows and some other fun stuff in here. And I think it blended pretty well, but I guess our color scheme was kind of like peach and blue and a little bit of green. So that's where we're at. We have the bookshelf that I color coordinated. It's been fun. It's, it will also be fun to move all of those books in a few days. All right, out here we have our patio, which doesn't look nearly as magical in the middle of the day as it does at night, but I'll still show you. All right, so here we have our little patio that we got to transform at the beginning of the year. Actually, like a week before everything froze and then all my plants died. 
but we've spent so many mornings out here before the sun gets up, before the sun rises in the day, um, just having coffee and reading, journaling, um, having quality time out here. We've had a lot of good patio memories, especially during COVID too. Um, when it first started, we were all quarantined at home. We were living on the balcony every single day. So, I have a lot of memories out here. But, all of my plants are gonna move to their new happy home. And, um, in case you haven't noticed, we live right by the freeway. So, it has been very loud all the time, <laughs> forever. So, you can even hear it when we're inside. And we're looking forward to having a little bit quieter of a life. All right, I will show you the master bedroom next. This is our other linen closet, by the way, and I kind of collect a lot of dishes. I didn't have a ton of cabinet space, so this turned into my china cabinet. <laughs> All my fun dishes have lived there. Okay, this is our master bedroom. Again, I'm looking forward to more space in the future, but um, I've loved these windows up here. I think they're so fun, and we've been able to just keep our main windows closed all the time. Just for privacy, you know, we live in an apartment, so you don't want everybody looking in all the time. But we are able to keep these open all the time because we're on the third floor, nobody can see in, and you get that natural light in here, which is always fun. And still seems pretty chill. Um, and yeah, I have liked a, a good accent wall. That's been fun. Okay, I'll show you our bathroom, which is the not usually seen on Instagram bathroom. <laughs> it's actually not, it's not that exciting. So here it is, it's pretty straightforward. This is more of like the active use shower. So nothing really cute to see. We do have double vanity and then a, a tinier closet for both of us. But I do like that the closet was not in the bedroom. I like that it was off to the side. Um, so, you know, when you're picking out an outfit, it kind of just stays there and you don't flop all of your clothes out onto the bed when you're trying to choose an outfit. So that's a life hack. Now I'm gonna take you into our office slash guest bedroom, but there's no bed, so we haven't been able to have a ton of guests. <laughs> but here's our office. We kind of made it, um, it evolved over time, but we kind of made it have two different backdrops if we wanted to make a video. So this one is more appropriate, like if we needed to make something, let's say for church, that didn't have all of our logos and, I mean, logos, sayings, all that stuff in the background, we just wanted more classy, we would use this background. Whenever we're on Zoom calls, this is pretty much the background that you would get. And then when we're making other videos, other content, this is the background that you would get. Um, I've loved having this desk, this super cool desk, um, I guess it's an architect desk, but having it up against the window has been really fun. I love being able to just look out, um, people watch, I guess, and, uh, yeah, but that's about all I have to show you. I don't think you want to see this closet. I'm actually just not going to show you this closet because it's been the catch-all and living in a tiny space, you know has its challenges. All right, so that was it. That's our little apartment. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is the last sighting that you'll see of it for forever, probably. Um, we loved all the memories that we made here, but we're really excited to be in a bigger, better, nicer, um, and did I say bigger place? <laughs> so we're looking forward to taking you along on all of those adventures as we make it into a home and make it our own. And other than that, keep following along. We'll see you next time. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world.